Tom, we're here today to talk about what you've written in the Harvard Business Review is called Data Scientist, the Sexiest Job in the 21st Century. So I have to ask you, what is a data scientist and why are these men and women so sexy? <laughs> well, um, first I should say it's not necessarily the men and the women that are sexy, it's the job the that's job sexy, The job is sexy, Gary. okay. These people are not conventionally <laughs> sexy for the most part, but um, the, the reason the job is so sexy is data scientists are people who work with big data. You know, there's a lot of excitement about big data. So they are people with sort of um, these funny hybrid backgrounds of um, computer science, almost hacker, very exploratory approach to IT, and an analytical orientation. So they can structure the data, extract it from the bizarre places they find it, get it into a form where it can be analyzed, and then do some of the analysis themselves. So it's really a, a, an unusual Mash combination. Up, so to speak. I was doing some, some just background research on it, and it seems some of the articles I read was talking about a scarcity of, of these people. Is, are, is there a shortage already of data scientists? There is. A lot of people want to hire them now. Anybody who's trying to get something going in, in big data uh, needs to do it, and there haven't been any um, educational degree programs in data science in the past, so you have to take people who's kind of wandered into that by virtue of their um, career path, and so there just aren't very many of them. It won't, we won't have that problem forever, but we definitely have it in spades now. When do you think we might be seeing undergraduate or graduate programs uh, with a BS in data science? Well, I think it's more likely to be an MS in data science. You know, it's a, I think it'll be more likely to be a specialized degree. There are a number of universities that are starting to create these things. Universities don't move at the speed of light, as, as you know, but um, I think all the pieces are in place. You have programs that, that are being cranked up at places like Berkeley and Harvard and MIT and so on. And you have some of the more traditional analytics programs of the past at places like NC State and Indiana and so on, starting to say, how about we add a little data science content to the more traditional analytics content that, that we were already offering. But let's look back to the point I was met, raised when I introduced you here to the program. You are one of the world's leading consultants in this field. Is there a scarcity also of professorial talent in data science? Well, there is. I mean, they're basically non-existent. Um, you um, can find people, obviously, in computer science, but they don't have the analytical skills. You can find analytical people, but they don't have the computer science skills. So, really, I think to educate them, you have to have a, a team-based approach. And frankly, even to do the work, I think, in large organizations, you, you really need a data, data science team. It's just too hard to find a lot of people with all the requisite skills in, in one person. And talking about finding these people, is, it, is there an amount of data that, 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 that a company has petabytes of data, or could it be you and I, after this video, go out and start our own company and go out and hire a data scientist? Could it be found in all sizes of companies? No, it requires 1.62 petabytes, Gary. Okay. No, um, <laughs> uh, I, you know, I think it's not so much the amount of data, it's really how unstructured is the data is the biggest issue. I, I worked with an organization the other day to do a survey of, of big companies uh, pursuing big data, and they said for them the structure issue or the lack thereof was a much bigger factor in um, dealing with big data than the volume itself. We can deal with the volume. It's the fact that, you know, this data is in video, it's in text, it's in voice, uh, it's in images, and so converting that into something we can analyze is, is often the hard part. And what would be your final advice, Tom, to the viewers? Where do they find these people? Well, I think um, there are some organizations that have started to um, not only buy them, but also build them to try to create internal education programs. I think hiring uh, people with um, either a strong computer science background and starting to teach them analytics or vice versa would be a good strategy. Uh, if you want to hire them, you know, go to the conferences. There are now about a, a conference a week on big data and the data scientists tend to hang out there. They, they solve problems on Kaggle, this um, competition website. Uh, they go to meetups. They're a pretty social bunch for a bunch of, you know, uh, computer science and analytical people.